Right, so it's time for a long overdue upgrade. The existing computer, which I'm trying to use to render YouTube videos or videos for YouTube and other channels. Well, let's just say it's almost nine years old and it was a $100 CPU when it was purchased. So it's rather slow and out of date. Very hard to upgrade. DDR3, SATA only on the motherboard as example. You can't put a fast chip in there really. Anyway, so let's start off with this one. Okay, the package weighs 447 grams. So just under one pound, I think. I think that's 452 grams or something. It's for a pound or just under half a, a kg if you're using metric the rest of the world so it's at about 125 mils that's five inches so another 125 mils by five inches well 75 would be three inches so call it three and a half just for shipping purposes in case anybody's wondering let's open it up and this is the non-x version so basically the slowest one that you can buy and the cheapest one but the idea is buying this instead of the, say the 5000 series is because It'll be on a hopefully upgradable platform. So what do we get in the box? There is the installation manual, the actual CPU, which is the expensive bit, uh, some packaging, and inside more packaging looks to be the included cooler. So you get a cooler, you don't have to buy a cooler. It also uses uh, this one here. The non-X version uses 65 watts, which is quite useful if you're trying to keep the heat down and the power bill down. Top, yeah. So you can take the top or the bottom off, so that's not good. Okay, so that's the thermal paste, don't touch that. Because there's no one protected by this to keep your fingers off there. Interesting, it only goes the one way. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. Uh, let's have a look. And you got a sticker and the CPU. That is the expensive bit. Uh, let's just maybe put it upside down on here. In case you're wondering what these things actually weigh. It's about 291 grams for the cooler and fan. Quite a beefy fan by the looks of it. Let's have a look. What's that? Five and a half centimeters from the base to the top of the fan. And then width to width, we're looking at about 110. So, yeah, and obviously it's a round, so it should be 110 each way. So that gives you an idea, you should have plenty of clearance on your motherboard to handle that. Uh, let's take a look at the CPU. And yes, it's rather humid here at the moment, and I'm not wearing rubber shoes, and blah blah blah. That means there's almost no risk of static electricity. We can still avoid touching the context there. Just see, what did you say? What did you say? There we go. 38.14 grams. That's pretty cool. Interesting to know, right? Maybe even put it back in its case for now. Because I imagine some people will ship these things like this one day. And it's now just under 50 grams, 49.33. Pretty sure they will get shipped like that once they're second hand and much cheaper. Yeah, the reasons are to get a platform that'll last, it's going to be the AM5 platform, which is the new platform. So hopefully I'll be able to upgrade this computer one day instead of having to replace it. Like effectively, I'm replacing the old computer because I can't upgrade it. Or tune back in for a build video. Hope you found it useful. Cheers.